I'm so quiet. Right on time. I thought I was going to have to take this and pound something, um, which would be kind of fun, actually. Um, I'm Jeannie Brooks Gunn, and I am so pleased that all of you are here for our workshop on standards for benefit cost analysis, focusing on preventative inf interventions for children, youth, and families. I'm particularly happy because we really got our A team, the people who have come. We're so excited all of you have um, been willing to spend two days uh, here uh, at the Academy and at the IOM to look at the issue of benefit cost analysis. Um, and I have to get used to saying benefit cost analysis because for some reason I always learned it as cost benefit analysis. And I was so glad that Tom Cook uses the same phrase. Tom, thank God. Is it a psychologist thing, do you think? And the economists do it just the opposite? In any case, um, what we want to do today is have lively discussion talking about lots of the issues that we should think about in terms of consensus and the standards that we're going to use to analyze the data that we do have and of course hope to have. We've set this up in terms of several sessions. One is an overview, that's where we'll start this morning. Then we're going to have a session on costing interventions. Then a session on valuing the outcomes of our interventions. And we're going to wrap up today looking at standards of rigor for program evaluations. Tomorrow, we're going to look at other standards. We will look at issues about translating results to inform policy and practice. And then we'll do a roundtable of concluding thoughts. Uh, what's important to remember for those of you who are not used to the NRC IOM format, when you have a workshop, not a committee, we're a workshop, um, what we want to do is get lots of issues on the table. Um, we maybe can make recommendations, but the workshops don't make recommendations, right? Um, that is what a committee would do if, in fact, uh, the IOM decides to have a committee on this topic. But we want to try to get all the different issues out on the table, thinking about solutions, because that will help in terms of the summary that the IOM does of this workshop. And again, if this becomes a committee, or if a committee um, morphs out of this, that would be used for the more standard uh, procedure where we would be doing recommendations. Uh, what I'd like to do are two things here. First, I'd like to uh, thank Valerie Chung, who is the Director of Policy Research at MacArthur Foundation. Um, she can't be here today, but she will be on the phone. She is the sponsor of this workshop, and we are um, indebted to her for funding this. Um, and the second is I'd like to uh, thank the IOM and NRC staff for the work that they've done putting this together. What I'd like to do before we start with our first uh, topic is have people just go around, say their name, turn around, where you're from, so at least people have names and faces very quickly. And I'd like that for the folks that are in the back as well. Oh, and P.S., we have a web uh, cast. And there could be up to zero to 80 people on the webcast. I doubt we'll have 80. Um, but there are all sorts of people that signed up, which is really interesting. So if people can just turn around so everyone can see. I think most people know each other, but not everybody. Okay. Thanks, Margaret. Hi, I'm Margaret Kuklinski. Oh, no, this is on. And it's from, not working, right? From the University of Washington. Hi, I'm Janet Curry from Princeton University. Thank you. Jorge Delva from the University of Michigan. Hank Levin from Columbia University. Max Crowley from Duke University. Uh, Dan Rosenbaum from OM Office of Management and Budget. Tom Koch from Northwestern. David Hawkins from the University of Washington. Roseanne Flores, Hunter College City University of New York. Uh, Steve Rose from the Washington State Institute for Public Policy. Damon Jones from Penn State. Lynn Carroll, the Rand Corporation. 
Anil Banvasu from the University of Washington, again. Richard Serby, also from the University of Washington. If I could say just a word, Jeannie, yes. about the benefit cost, cost benefit term. Oh, yeah. It was originally used <coughs> or in the early days of the 40s, the American economists were working on it. It was benefit cost because they were talking about cost, but the engineers talked about cost benefit ratios. The engineers made it into cost benefit. Okay. And so this recent trend back to benefit cost is sort of reversion to the original. Okay, good. I'll, tr I'll try to get that in my head so I use the right term. Okay. Um, my, I'm Jacqueline Jones. I'm the recovering bureaucrat in the group. Um, I'm the former Deputy Assistant Secretary for Policy and Early Learning in the U.S. Department of Education. Gary Lenningham with the Pew Charitable Trusts. Melanie Lutenbacher, Vanderbilt University. Douglas Kanofsky, IOM staff. Wendy Keenan, IOM staff. Andrew Keenan, Wendy Keenan's husband, and also uh, <laughs> also CMS, uh, Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Innovations. Thanks. I'm uh, Chuck Michalopoulos from MDRC, and I'm trying to get my presentation off my computer for Whoops. two minutes. <laughs> Anita Valen, GW grad student. Richard Bruns, FDA Center for Food Safety and Applied Nutrition. Karen Lyons, Pew Charitable Trusts. Lauren Antello, Department of Health and Human Services, Administration for Children and Families. Kimberly Burgess, also Department of Health and Human Services in the Office of the Assistant Secretary for Planning and Evaluation. Monica Herr, Pew Charitable Trusts, Home Visiting Campaign. Eric Abdul-Latif, USAID and Washington Evaluators Association. Stephanie Shipman, uh, U.S. Uh, Government Accountability Office. Thank Frank Hurl, Department of Health and Human Services, National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health. Sarah Wilkin, Girl Scouts of USA. Uh, Steve Olson, a consultant writer helping with the summary report. Sylvia Sosa, um, Department of Health and Human Services, uh, Health Resources and Services Administration. Heather Zaveri, Mathematica Policy Research. Amy Farb, Department of Health and Human Services, Office of Adolescent Health. Josh Leopold, Urban Institute. Julia Druin, uh, Department of Agriculture, Food and Nutrition Service, Office of Policy Support. Carrie Ann McGeary, Robert Wood Johnson Foundation. Terrific. Thank you, guys. So, I think we should start with our first session. Janet Curry is going to be moderating, and Chuck and Margaret um, are presenting. If Chuck has found his um, PowerPoint. <laughs> 